to create a visual, a pie chart, a bar graph, etc., for your non-numerical data, so for your categorical or your qualitative data. Um, one thing that you can do using your Google form that you collected your responses on, if you click on responses and the summary tab is highlighted, you'll see that there are pie charts and bar graphs for your qualitative, your categorical data. So if we were using this male female question as our qualitative data, if you click on copy chart, it will copy it to your clipboard and then you can paste it into your Google Slides presentation. You could do the same thing with a bar chart. Um, let me try to find a good one here. So for example, uh, we have how many piercings do you have? Zero, two, three, four, six, and eight. Then you would click on copy chart. Um, or right here, here's another really good example. You, uh, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, um, depending on spellings. And so we have a bar chart. You would click on copy chart. If you want to do this from your Google Sheet, you would highlight all of your qualitative, your categorical data, and then you can either click where it says insert chart, that's gonna be right here, or you can go over to insert and go down to chart and click on that, and you'll select the, si the type of chart. Now, Google Sheets has attempted to guess what kind of chart we want, if you come over to chart type and click on that drop down, you can choose from a column chart, that is your bar chart, or you, a pie chart. So if we displayed this data as a pie chart, uh, which award would you rather win? Here is our pie chart for that. Or if we wanted to do a bar chart for which award you would rather win. And then to take that and put it in your Google Slides presentation, you're gonna click the three dots over here. You can either download or copy that chart and then move that into your Google Slides presentation.